Hey, what's up everybody? This is Unhinged Gaming and I'm coming in hot with some more fresh high quality content today. I'm talking about a, a pretty recent controversy in the YouTube world. Um, by the time this video is go going up, it will have been two days ago that this was first brought to YouTube's attention and yesterday that YouTube responded. So here's basically the, the whole story around this is that there have been some people who have been making some videos um that are that are set up perfectly to be centered towards kids so that youtube kids will put them high up in the algorithm and making them really weird and a little bit disturbing and you know they're not <laughs> coming from the perspective of an adult who doesn't have kids and who has seen the dark side of YouTube, they're really not that bad. But that being said, I remember when I was a kid and I got disturbed by the Hufflumps and Woozles scene from Winnie the Pooh, so I could definitely see how for a young child this would be, um, th this could potentially be traumatizing without them even knowing why. Like, because it, it has undertones that are really weird and yeah, a little bit disturbing. Um, and the thing that I find a bit more sinister about it, like beyond making these weird ass videos and then centering them towards kids. And by the way, like when I say put in the algorithm, like they are perfect. These people have figured out the math around the YouTube algorithm and they found all of the best, the best everything, the best thumbnails, the best titles, the best descriptions, the best tags, the best video length. They've basically cheated the system but what I find the most sinister about this is that there's nothing inherently wrong with the videos, so the algorithm isn't going to pick anything up because <clears throat> it has fun, silly music, and there's no dialogue. Like, I've, I've watched part of a couple of these. They're about 30 minutes long, so I didn't watch a whole one, but I just kind of skimmed through a couple to see what everyone was talking about. And... Uh, there's no dialogue whatsoever. There's just music and sound effects and then this really weird animation style that looks like, you know, it was a rush job. But you see a lot of these things on YouTube that are kid friendly and, you know, kids not going to know the difference. And so, but they they have these really weird undertones of where it's like uh, characters like, you know, Elsa and superheroes like Spider-Man and the Hulk and Batman. Um, are like getting knocked out by villains and then carried off with like this evil Joker laughter. Um, there was one where the Joker essentially poisoned their food and they all had multicolored shits and then end up having to go to the hospital or in like wheelchairs and shit. It's really weird stuff. Um, and it it's kind of baffling to me that someone would deliberately market these things to kids when you don't have to, you could do, you could use that, that, those math skills, those algorithm skills to make it just as marketable and then make it actually kid friendly. Like it does not have to be disturbing. And that's what I find really disturbing about that they're doing this is that it's like they're deliberately marketing disturbing things to kids when it's not actually benefiting them in any way. Um, and and these are getting monetized is the other thing. They're making money off of this and they could just as easily make the same amount of money off of something that's actually kid friendly, but they're making money off of this because the the demonetization algorithm isn't picking anything up like even to the to the degree that it misfires. There's still nothing because there's no dialogue and it's royalty free music and it's royalty free sound effects and there's nothing un untoward on the surface of the animation it's just like when you really realize what's going on and it's innocent enough that i could see parents if they're not really paying attention and they just kind of glance over they just see Sp spider-man walking around in this weird animation style or maybe if they look over at the right minute right moment they see a uh, con spider-man getting chased down by a, a police officer elsa with a gun which is a little weird but you know for the most part if you just glance over moment to moment most of the moments in and of themselves aren't don't seem bad to a parent i could see it getting overlooked if they're not really paying attention so there's been a lot of um speaking of parents paying attention there's been a lot of things saying you know uh saying youtube should fix it and there's also been a lot of things saying well you shouldn't let your parents or parents shouldn't let their kids watch uh youtube unsupervised which i do agree with um 
I think that no amount of algorithm or anything is gonna change the fact that there's some weird ass shit on YouTube and it doesn't, a lot of it doesn't seem bad on the surface. Don't hold me, I'm scared does not seem bad on the surface. It looks like a, it looks like the Muppets <laughs> and it would be horrible for any kid to watch that. Um, so I, I do agree with that to a certain extent. I also feel though like when you have this, uh, this whole thing of YouTube kids, you kind of want to think that it's going to be safe for children, right? Like that that's, there's not going to be anything wrong with that. You, you want to feel safe letting your kids watch YouTube kids. And I also think that a lot of parents who aren't as involved with the internet might not know exactly what goes on with YouTube. And they might think it's like Netflix kids where it's like really well filtered and it's not user based. Because that is the thing about having something like YouTube Kids is that it, things can slip through the cracks. They're not personally reviewing each thing. Um, so YouTube's response to this, which came by the time this video goes up, it will have been yesterday. Um, and I actually have it right here. I'm just going to pull it up really quick. So they are um, they are actually, they're, you know, I... I'm going to keep most of my opinions to myself in terms of this, but I do think it's a little funny how much they jump on this. And I get it. It is more important, right? Like, I I get that kids are more important than, than people getting their videos monetized. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I get why this takes priority. I don't want kids getting disturbed by these fucked up people. So basically what they're doing is... um. They, they have a team of volunteers now, um, as well as the scruples of ordinary viewers to hunt down and flag content that needs to be age restricted before a flagged video is assigned that status. It will be reviewed by a team of thousands of YouTube moderators. Um, one thing I have to say, thousands guys, um, with the amount of content that's going through and the amount of stuff going, getting flagged, I don't know if thousands of people is really enough. I mean, the whole response to Casey Neistat was was that it wasn't that they couldn't review everything getting demonetized. So I don't imagine things getting flagged would be much different. I get that it's only within the YouTube kids uh, sort of sub sub YouTube, but I still wonder if they're going to be in over their head with this. In any case, basically what they're saying is um, they're they're going to start flagging. They're going to start age restricting things a lot harder and um, they're going to start making it easier to flag them yourselves. And they have volunteers um, so that they don't have to divert their employees to that. And I think it is good that they're taking action with this because it is an important thing. I again, I, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but I, I do just need to say that, like, it's funny how the day after this whole thing really came to light they took all of this action and somehow they managed to act that quickly on you know doing things with humans I, again they can't fix the algorithm that quickly but there, there are other things that they can do and that's kind of what i was getting at with my last demonetization video which if you haven't seen click the eye in the upper right hand corner to see my cards and you can check that out but I do think it's a little like, again, I get that the kids are a higher priority and I do agree with that. I just still wonder if they could act that quickly with this, if they couldn't act that quickly. Like, you know, maybe they could even get volunteers with that. I don't see why some YouTubers who are getting demonetized wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, sure. If I can help have this stop happening, then I can take a little bit of time out of my day to do that. In any case, that's my thought on the whole issue um and i just kind of wanted to spread awareness about the this being happening um those of you who do have kids you know you should know about it and you should know what you can do to help and i would definitely look into a little deeper about the whole flagging system and all of that because i think that everyone who has any sort of investment in this does need to do their part um i have no involvement with youtube kids so i I would have to be going out of my way, which I don't have time to do, but those of you who do have an involvement with it, definitely, um, you know, do your part, and I think it's it's good for you to know about this so that you can do that, and, you know, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the whole thing, on YouTube's response, and just these, these assholes who are doing this fucked up shit, because it's so, 
it's so just not okay and it's so messed up that like I think I think it needs to be talked about a little bit. Um, and while you're down there, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see more. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter at UnhingedTweetYT, where I post video updates, as well as let you guys know when I go live on Twitch, which is UnhingedGamingYT. If you want to see what goes into the kind of gameplay aspect of these videos, you should check that out as well. Um, all the links are down in the description. Make sure to check them all out. In the meantime, I've been Unhinged Gaming, and I will see you next time.